agricultural food giant Cargill plans to start selling wearable devices designed to curb methane emissions from cattle. The, the wearables that look kind of like masks uh, have been designed and developed by a UK startup called Zelt. Livestock farming uh, accounts for a substantial share of agricultural emissions. In fact, it actually makes up 14.5% of greenhouse gas emissions globally. And that's mainly because cattle, uh, sheep or other ruminants uh, release methane, basically a result of their peculiar, uh, unique uh, digestive systems. Most of that methane goes out through cow's mouths uh, as they burp. Zelp's wearables get placed just above cow's mouths. Essentially a set of fans uh, powered by batteries will suck up the burps and trap them in the chamber with a methane absorbing filter. And once that filter is saturated, a chemical reaction turns the methane into carbon dioxide, which is then released in the air. It's still a greenhouse gas, but methane is much worse. So converting it into CO2 is still a win. The devices are not the only solution out there. In fact, there is a quest to find uh, the most effective way um, to curb methane emissions. Feed supplements or additives are being uh, tested and developed right now. More work needs to be done in order to gauge how effective these solutions are and scientists are looking into it. Uh, we know that most of these solutions cannot fully eliminate methane emissions from cattle. Farmers do need financial incentives in order to use them. Perhaps one of the ways uh, to help farmers would be to give them an opportunity to offer this climate smart milk or meat at a premium to standard products. Meat production and dairy production are still um, expected to grow in the next years. And that's largely because consumption is growing in, in many markets, uh, especially in emerging markets. So we, wa we won't eliminate cattle overnight. The production will be ongoing. So it's so important to actually find solutions that will address livestock's footprint. Dairy and meat companies, many food producers are under pressure from their investors and also consumers to reduce their carbon footprint.